This is Jeffrey St. Laurent with the Selling Coaching Minute for coaches wanting to transition to a full-time business. My house is in complete chaos. And for someone like myself who is admittedly OCD and likes neat and organized, well, you get the picture. This last week, we started construction to add a walk-in closet to my master bedroom, which is currently my office. So that means we're not only switching offices to the bedrooms, but we got holes in walls, tearing down walls. Not to mention, I'm on my coaching calls with my clients. I'm here in the, my backup band with uh, the hammers and drills and saws and vacuums. <laughs> it's chaotic to say the least. Now it's great and exciting, but in order to get there, we must weather the storm. As you begin to grow your coaching business, there'll be times, well, most of the time, where you feel like you're in complete chaos. You'll not know which way you're going, and just when you feel like you have some direction, you'll be on your ass again trying to right yourself. Let me tell you though, while the storm will never stop, there are some calm seas in the turbulent waters. What I mean is, is that when you learn to deal with the challenges of entrepreneurship, you get better at them. What used to stress me out and throw me for weeks or keep me up at night doesn't anymore. I know the same will be true for you, but for now, it's stressful and overwhelming. I'm gonna tell you to stick with it and endure. The end is worth it, and only a small percentage will ever realize the reward. If you are a coach looking to transition to a full-time business, head over to my website, sellingcoaching.com, under the university for some great education to help you on your way. That's sellingcoaching.com.